Uh, we are playing Torok. At the final level, the final section. Well, no, I think this is the wrong save. <clears throat> yes, this is it. What am I doing here? Uh, this is my stream. Their question is, what are you doing here? Can get past that without uh, oh, yeah. getting hit. Hi, all. Good to see you. Uh, esophagus now. Thank you for the nine-month resub and uh, an anonymous gifter. Thank you for the sub to Lay Crumb and six months of sub to Hugo. I appreciate it. I don't think we were able to get enough teeth to get a one up. I have all keys. This is this is it. This is the end. We actually made it to the final boss yesterday, but I died. I to end. That's what happens here. Never know when you'll get gifted a sub. Least expect it, suddenly whoa, I got a sub. I don't I don't even know what happened. It's just how we roll here. <laughs> this thing sucks. Use this. the word Torok? If I... He wanted a Torok to get banned from his own game? What the heck? Why is it flashing? What the heck? Uh, Rex, thank you for, uh... Three gift subs to Constantine's Legacy, E-Angel C. Ranker's Dying. Uh, we're gonna tactically use that body armor, because there is a full heal back of it. Ah, uh, thank you, I appreciate that. We gotta remember to come back for the full heal and the body armor. Oh yeah. You literally just joined that's what I'm saying. You never know when it's gonna happen. You literally don't know. There's no way to know. Unless you gift yourself a sub on a different account and pretend like, Whoa, this is so unexpected. Then you may know. You would also be deceiving not only the community, but yourself. Alright, 
Now we go get that full heal. And body armor. game it's pretty good I've been impressed with this I wonder how well this was received because this would have been the first Torok you know like <laughs> kind of like you know Gears of War just a brand new game and it was very well received. <clears throat> was the original Halo like that? I don't remember the original Halo coming out, only Halo 2. Very easy to get lost in this game. <clears throat> yeah, I know... I know Gears of War was advertised extremely heavily. I was pretty hyped from it, from all the commercials I saw. I don't know if y'all remember those. I played uh, Mad World. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this dark section. Kinda lame, honestly. <laughs> <clears throat> I've never actually played Halo 1. I played a ton of Halo 2. <clears throat> commercials for this. <laughs> I'm Torok. No, I'm Torok. No, I'm Torok.
have played Duke Nukem. If you're a fan of that game, you may uh, not want to hear my opinion on it. It, I definitely, I definitely would have liked it better on PC, but I still... <clears throat> the, uh... The, like, adult humor or whatever, I think it just aged really poorly. It was probably neat back then, but... I feel like it's humor that a younger person would find funny because they're like, wow, this is edgy. I'm not supposed to see stuff like this, but as an actual adult, you're just like, it's kind of annoying. not worth continuing. Dang it. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. Like, it's not... It's not like, wow, the game's racist or something. It's just crude humor that I didn't really enjoy, personally. It's not like at age, like, wow, this is offensive or something. It's just, I just don't like it. There's another Duke Nukem game. I'm hoping the physics are more similar to this one than that, but I don't have my hopes up. Because this game controls pretty well. I mean, it's obviously no like modern Call of Duty or something, but it's, or the N64. It's very well done. drop an energy cell. game definitely the enemies and stuff got a little out of hand Oh, 
Oh shoot, I didn't know I had the shotgun equipped. Well, since we killed him, I guess. I didn't know I had it equipped again. I just keep having the shotgun somehow. Kind of hunting like robots now, not really dinosaurs, but it's going well. As long as I don't die on the way to this final boss, I feel like we'll beat it. If I die, I can start resetting, like sure, I have to go back, but <clears throat> I think it's worth to do. I don't know what I'm doing after this. This is gonna take literal years, like... There's no way to know anything about the future like that, you know? Live streaming could die off. Copyright law could change. There's no way to plan something that far in advance. At a minimum, this is gonna finish in 2024. The tire? I don't think so. Whoa, what? I think that just spawned on me. That was weird. <laughs> game looks really good. What, like graphics, you mean? Or just, it looks fun. Graphics look good. I mean, they're not bad. What weapon did I just have equipped? What is this thing, man? I couldn't kill it.
yeah, this is the final mission. Don't fall off again. Ninja fell off, you know. Edge is broke. How am I supposed to know if he's a sub? Y'all see, uh, Ninja's wife's letter? I don't know if his wife or him sent, like, a message to, uh, Pokimane saying, like, We're taking this seriously and we're gonna file a lawsuit, blah blah. I'm not a lawyer, but I feel like the first step of filing a lawsuit against somebody, especially for defamation, is shut the heck up. Just don't go talking on social media. A dinosaur, we're finally back to our roots. Oh it, oh, it hit. I thought that one missed. This strat works well, it's just that flamethrower attack, but it can definitely get you. Oh god, I didn't want to, well, I guess we're in here. Dude, I ended up in here again. Correct? Oh, you're not dead. Oh, now you're dead. I thought it ran out of health. Scepter piece. I 
I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Why is it giving me all this? Unequip my thing? What happened to my fusion cannon? He unequipped it. It's cheating. Where'd he go? Who is this guy anyway? Where is he, seriously? Is he behind me? Taking no damage. Die. Oh, we did save, so I'm not super worried if I die right now. I just remembered that we did save. <laughs> Not taking any damage. Okay, it took damage. <laughs> There's a save point up there. Let me go save. programmed a special death cut scene for that. I am Torok. Whoa. Is the minigun like the strat? It keeps getting the minigun in me. Try this. Oh, I busted his shield. Get wrecked, dude. I was like a really little kid whenever you would play against the computer in like a sports game or whatever. I thought it was like somebody who worked at Nintendo or Sega, like it was their job to like, oh somebody wants to play, you gotta get on there and play against them. Like, it was when I was like four years old or something. Anyway, this boss is making me think of that because it's like 
Maybe I am the final boss for this guy. I think he just doesn't take damage from plasma bullets or whatever. Get oh, he's a skeleton. What the heck? Who is this guy? There are phase two. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh no, Torok! No! Run away! Oh, or do that. God, if he was like a half second late, he would be blown up right now. Wow, this is so lucky. What are the odds that he's just... Like, he could have been like miles ahead of the explosion, but man, it was... It was right there. What the heck? Wait, why, why did it say that? We beat the game, didn't we? Oh, it's not saying like game over you lose, it's just saying the game is over. We did it! <clears throat> yeah, maybe it's because we didn't get all the pieces, or maybe you gotta play on the hardest difficulty or something. Dude, this David Dines... Dines Spear guy has been in the credits like 10 times already. Apparently he did everything. Either that or there's just multiple people with that name. Yeah, we will, uh, I'm gonna play around with the cheat codes. Do, uh, enough people seem to think they're interesting. There's a cheat code to give you invincibility, spirit mode, all weapons, unlimited ammo, unlimited lives, full map, big head mode, level and boss warps. GTI one never cheat. was able to do this without cheats. Real gamer moments. Uh, Gambit, thank you for a thousand bits. It was tough. I mean, it's definitely not an easy game. I'm very glad that I, uh... I'm very glad that I made it through that final level without saving. I was pretty... I was pretty unhappy when it didn't let me save. <laughs> yeah, we beat it. I think. I, maybe we got, like, a bad ending. Either that or the devs are just trolls. <laughs> Dean Seltzer as Torok. Which do be jank. G 
GG bro. Now for seeds of evil. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe we allowed the dinosaurs to go extinct. <laughs> uh, Bizor, thank you for 510 bits. Uh, yeah, well, it could be the next game. Who knows? Actually, it depends what, uh, the next Torok I releases. God, these are long credits. I mean, partially because they're scrolling very slowly. I can't believe we haven't had a football game yet. That's wild to me. Not fake football. America football. I want football. We need to get them out of the way. Nobody wants the end of this series to be a big pile of sports games. We've gotten a lot of the racing out, like, as little sports as we've drawn, we've done a lot of the racing, I feel. So it's kind of a trade-off. Yo, shout-outs to Tom Falzon. Way to be a supervisor. Golden Eye. That would certainly be hype. Most likely it's going to be just some random game. We've only had a few, like, top tier games. They're pretty rare. <clears throat> I'm very excited for Paper Mario. Like, I, I've beaten that a few times, but it's just, it's a very good game. That's one of the N64 games that definitely, it's hard to say it didn't age well, like the art style and everything, it just, it's good. <clears throat> it's one of the few N64 games that still looks good today, just because of the way they did the graphics, you know? My god, th no, this game better have succeeded. There's like 20 trillion people who worked on it. This is like a modern game credits. Usually back then it was only a few people working on it, but this is a lot. ETYD is one of my favorite games ever. And I have no nostalgia for that game. Like, it's just a true opinion. Because I didn't play it until a few years ago. I'd never even seen it. <clears throat> Cheat code. Uh, okay. Let's play around with these cheats real quick. <clears throat> wow, what a great keyboard. So this is called the Big Cheat. A.K.A. what the devs used to test their game and just left it in.
the big cheat activated. What else is there? Tiny enemies mode. <clears throat> Purdy colors. <laughs> There's so many cheats. Oh, this cheat's called quack mode, but it doesn't have anything to do with ducks. Right, let's just see what this looks like. Wait, I'm supposed to have all weapons. Why do I not? Oh, you gotta toggle it. Oh, okay, so let's just go ahead and enter all these. <clears throat> Tiny enemies mode. In an ink mode, whatever this is. Oh. Quack mode. <laughs> Disco mode. I think that's it. Invincibility. All weapons, unlimited ammo, infinite lives, all map. Big head mode. Can you do big head and tiny enemies? Purdy colors. Chrono Scepter. Oh, look at the mountains. Right, hang on. I'm gonna turn off tiny enemies. I wanna see Big Head. I don't wanna turn on Spirit Mode. I hate that. <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. The dinosaur doesn't look all that weird. This one looks normal. This one doesn't look that different either. Alright, let's see. Purdy colors. Let's do pen and ink. Oh my god, what is this? I already hate it. I hate it a lot. Oh, this is the one where you keep falling down. Alright, yeah, we're turning this off. This is horrible. Is he dancing? <laughs> he's, he's just dancing. <laughs> oh man. He doesn't dance. There's also... Oh yeah, what is quack mode? Oh, this makes the game look like crap. Looks like the OG Doom, kind of. Oh, Quack is in Quake, I see. And then there's this... Fly mode. You can just fly through all the levels. How do you get down? L, how do you get down? <laughs> this is my life. Oh, L. Where am I? It's not a real save point. I think that's it. Yeah. Did we... Is there any weapons we somehow... There's no way we just missed a weapon. Oh, you just clip through the map. Yep. Uh... Yep. <laughs> I think spirit mode is just this, right? When you get the invincibility. Well, I mean. Oh shoot, I'm like, re oh, it's cause I have fly mode on. I was like, why am I, oh God, you just literally Oh, you just clip through walls and stuff. I don't know what- what is spirit mode? Oh, spirit mode's what's letting me go through walls. Oh, okay. 
I thought it was that thing when you collect invincibility and it flashes all the colors. Gallery. It won't let me. Ab East. It's a decently high quality model when you actually zoom in on it. <laughs> yeah, these dudes were rough. Cyborg. Demon. What the heck? I don't remember fighting you. Oh, that's it. Okay. <clears throat> that is Torok Dinosaur Hunter complete. Um, honestly, it's a really good game. It aged pretty well, I think. Uh, kind of surprised. I, since I thought FPS, I thought it was going to be pretty janky, but it wasn't really. Um, the main issue is how big the levels were. Like, that's kind of annoying that that's a bad thing, but you just get lost. Um, it's missing some quality of life features, like, Making the map small, you know, the controls are kind of tough, but as far as this console, it's pretty good. Um, I will give it... Uh, I'll give it a... 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty fun. Like, oh. it's... It's not like the greatest game ever, but GG's. I like it. Good music, Hoping good graphics. For wings for the next one. Controls work well. Oh, There's just some frustrating yeah. stuff, but uh, it's pretty good. Difficulty, it's tough-ish. It's not crazy hard. Um, maybe like a... Hmm a little above average so like a 6 out of 10 difficulty maybe mostly due to the platforming and some of the uh, longer sections uh, Jar Jar Jared thank you for the prime gaming sub and Q Zapata thank you for the 5 month resub with prime gaming <clears throat> okay let me fill this in Okay. Um, so, if you guys are new here, we are currently on a journey to beating every N64 game ever released. And whenever we beat a game, we pick the next one that we will play by randomly selecting it off of this list. Uh, you can see there were four Torok games here. Now there's only three. So we have 305 games on the list. Anything could be chosen, unless we already beat it, then it can't be. Uh, let's see. Three, two, one, go. 40. Which one's that? 
Oh, they almost got Castle. We're playing Carmageddon 64. I, uh, I don't think I've ever seen this game, but, uh, looks like that's what we're playing. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching if you're on YouTube.